beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm ashalewa and if this is your first time of stopping by my channel you're highly welcome hit the subscribe button so you can join the gang and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so guys what's popping because a lot of things are going on around here like a lot of things and then i'm bringing to you guys this video that is going to blow your mind like psh. so today something different is happening on my channel and i'm so excited like I have teamed up with a bunch of beautiful ladies, like ladies that you literally always want to see on your screen, beauty influencers, content creators, skincare gurus, beauty gurus, like these ladies are everything top notch and I'm so proud to be working with them. We've teamed up on this video to recreate an episode of Instant Influencers done by James Charles and some other content creators and trust me, this is going to blow your mind. I am so excited guys. Like, you're definitely going to see one of your faves in this video. You see, you sure want to watch this again. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. First, we're going to be having one of the bubbly content creators. She's so fun, she's very interesting. She's someone you definitely want to see on your screen all the time. Her name is Teniola, all the way from the UK because she's so pretty. So she's going to take us on a proper foundation routine. So everything you need to know, this is gold. So, handing her the foundation. Here you go, Tenny. Tenny, here you go. Thanks, girl. Um, so today, I'll start you guys off with a foundation. You want a very matte finish, you know, look fun. As you can see, you can see my dark spots just showing, but don't worry, I got you guys. Um, so because I have oily skin, so I go with my pressed powder and from collection, and I just go in the areas that will be oily. So before applying my foundation, I just, you know, topic african household let's just say <laughs> nigerian or african household um my thing is come i just want to touch on the topic on <laughs> on um how your parents our, our parents i don't know if you can relate but girl how my parents they are loud like loud like now i see why i'm loud <laughs> like i thought i thought i wasn't that loud like that loud. because i want a full coverage so i'm just i might do two layers of foundation on my face i don't know how it looks on the camera but girl but yeah they're loud like guys no like have you ever not been on the car with them and they're just on this city on this city just shouting I'm just gonna the person that is crossing the person that is even crossing why are you shouting at them they can't hear you so just uh, guys even talking about it i can't even <laughs> and on phone on phone is the worst like you guys are actually literally on the other line like why are you shouting um but yeah is that a bear i don't know so moving on to the concealer i'm gonna give you guys to aleke the beautiful aleke gorgeous aleke flawless look like flawless look so concealer aleke i'm giving it to you thanks amy all right so i'm going to be applying concealer under my eye basically i'm going to be highlighting using the zikel second skin second skin concealer in caramel that's what i'm going to be using so i'm just going to be taking it bit by bit and believe me what i'm about to talk about oh my god is so relatable like everyone can basically or literally just relate to it and if you cannot relate to you, I'm dragging me with you. I am dragging you with me rather. Alright, so I'm just going to be applying my concealer like bit by bit. Alright, so I relate to the alright. So you know in African homes now, where probably one of your cousins calls or maybe your mommy calls one of your cousins and then she's like and then she's like, oh la la, baba sorrow, hey, baba and then he's her like, okay, 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 you guys come and talk to this person, you know. Or maybe she's like Okay, since my name is Dedun, I should like Dedun. Okay, um, maybe Temi is online. Oh, no? come and talk to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? I don't know how to take from like, hello, hi, good afternoon. 
<laughs> how you doing yeah thank you very much oh god africa mom they can make you do what you want to do like ah jesus christ i cannot just believe it like i suffered in i suffered doing this stuff like several times not only cousins but like uncles she would like call me that she might up to one uncle I've concealed and I've set the face. So this next part is going to be done by the super talented. Oh my god, if you have not seen our YouTube channel, you guys are missing big time. So it's going to be done by her. She's super beautiful. I don't know why I've been using super, it's just that these people are me. Mimi Jay take yeah girl. Thanks, Deja. So we're here again and I am going to be doing my brows now. I'll be showing you guys how I do my brows really simple, really easy and very nice. <laughs> I personally like my brows really natural, nothing too serious. And the major thing I do is just to fill in the tails of my brows. So where are we? Yeah, African parents or Nigerian parents per se. Honestly, I I really can't relate. Maybe not. You see, I can't relate. Um, I really come from a family that is not a typical Nigerian or African family. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did a video on my channel where I kind of did a prank on my mom and my brothers and everybody. Oh, backstory, I am the only daughter of my family. So I don't know, maybe that sometimes gives me a little advantage. But anyway, so there was a time I did this pregnancy prank video. It's actually on my channel. And you guys, I didn't post that video for about seven plus months just because I didn't get the old, um, the typical Nigerian parents kind of reaction. What you'd expect when you tell your mother as the only daughter, what you'd expect when you tell your mother or even your brothers that you're pregnant is that they go all, they all hell let loose and then they go all dramatic and everything. Honestly, <laughs> I did not get that reaction and I, did, I didn't upload that video because I thought, oh, this is not the internet kind of reaction that people would expect. Eventually, I uploaded the video and I got so many of, oh, your family is not the typical African mom, or your mom is not the typical African mom, da 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 da. So, and there are so many other instances that I'd expect my mom to do the old typical African mother drama, but she doesn't even do that way. Um, so, back to brows. I have actually, this is pretty much everything I do when it comes to my brows. I don't do anything serious. So, to conceal my brows, I actually just go in with a concealer that is almost my same almost the same shade as my foundation thereabouts and yeah that's pretty much everything i do when it comes to brows so i am done with my brows brows are not supposed to be sisters no they're not supposed to be twins is it sisters or twins they're not supposed to be twins your brows should just be sisters although in my case i think they're like distant cousins right now i'm going to press in the eyeshadow mantle to the one and only ashalewa you guys you know when you haven't met someone in person and you can just tell from their aura, from their texts, from their, oh, I think voice notes too, that they are so amazing. This is Ashalewa. So right now I'm going to be passing this to Ashalewa to take us through the eyeshadow process. Hey girl. Hey girl, thank you Mimi, thank you so much, yes. Um, welcome to my segment guys. How's it going? I'm Ashalewa, yes. So on this um, part of mine, yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys through eyeshadow routine. So I already applied my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place um, Saharan palette. So on the episode of... Is it an episode? <laughs> of um, Growing Up Nigerian. The only issue I have with Nigerian parents, African parents at large, is the issue of sex education. Like, why? Is it a crime if they tell us what we are meant to know? Definitely... I'm going to find out and most of the time they find out from friends which is not meant to be so so just tell them there's no harm in, in it but instead they'll be threatening you they'll be scaring you you think scaring works in this age and time it doesn't work oh the guy touches you you're going to get pregnant we are not dumb asses we did biology we know how this thing works so it is not a big deal if you tell your child your girl child or your boy child everything they need to know about sex education it's funny how our parents think they are doing us a favor or they are protecting us by not letting us know these things like how whatever you say don't threaten us with if they touch you you're gonna get pregnant like really it's like that one by now uh uh no 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 there is are you almost seen how snatched i am like can you can you oh 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> key to any eyeshadow look you're doing is blending. Blending is key so you don't have any ash lines whatsoever. That's the next step. The person that's going to be taking us on eyeliner and lashes application is someone I admire so much in this industry. She's a content creator, a YouTuber, a skincare guru. She's a beauty guru. Like, she's everything. This is gold. <laughs> oh my gosh, I admire a lot. Okay, and this is nobody other than. You wanna know? You wanna know? <laughs> it's the Alpha Glam, people. So, I'm going to be passing this gel liner right to her. If a Alpha Glam. <laughs> Here you go, sis. Thank you, Ashalewa. So, guys, I'll be taking you through the eyelining and also the eyelashes application. So, guys, who has noticed that it is always difficult to collect money from your African parents when it does not relate to academics? I don't understand. <laughs> Why is it that when I want to collect money for academics, Daddy, I need money for this. Daddy, I need money for... Um, probably private needs, I want to sort out some personal needs you will tell me does not have money but let me ask him for money for books ask him for money for okay online classes ask him for things like that he has time and he has money to give me for that when it comes to I want to buy a particular <laughs> I want to buy a particular shirt I want to buy a particular trouser he does not have the time for that so I'll be using this glue this is the lanyard glue on my lashes I don't understand. Like anytime I try to think about it, this is why most African children they're always ready to pad up everything that deals with academics. You are buying a book for five thousand naira. You hear them saying it is ten thousand naira because it's always so difficult to collect money from parents. It's so funny. I don't know, but if you are in my shoes, I just think the best thing we can do is just to see them, especially in this Corona period. Oh my God, money for subscription. MTN has almost run me dry. Like. <laughs> It's so 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 crazy, but we move and there's no work. So the only people you can bank on is your parents, and still they are not interested because it is not related to books. So I'm putting my eyelashes on my false lashes. You have to be careful. So that's my gist about African parents. Like I basically don't know what to tell them anymore. So this is my lashes application, guys. I hope you like it. So now, taking us through the blush application, the blush, contour, highlighting, everything is the super talented, amazing, fine girl, Omoto Mike, CEO of T Faces. Tomike, over to you. Oh, thank you so much, Ife. I got the blush. Hi, guys. My name is Tommy Care. I'll be showing you guys how uh, I'm applying my contour, my highlight, and my blush. Before going in with my blush, I like to go in first with my contour. And uh, while doing all the applications, I'll be just seeing you, you know, my own side of the story on the African or Nigerian parent thingy. So, my parents are not such the disciplinarians, uh, if you get me, but I have this hand. Oh my god, she's hot. She's so hot, like hot tempered. She's such a disciplinarian. Oh, she's not hearing this. Though. It was this time mm, that I actually went to their house. We're Catholics. The Reverend Father came home. He came around and. Uh, you know, ah, uh, Reverend Father came in now. Yeah, so we were happy and all of that. So uh, I sat down on his laps and uh, he was just in everybody. Ah, me, I just sat down. Oh, I was not looking at my aunt's face. Anyway, so after sitting, I noticed she was not comfortable. She was doing like, I'm going to sit down somewhere else. And I was just being happy as a young girl, you know, like, ah, Reverend Father, at least you'll be giving me, you know, like 1K or 500 before leaving. Guys, I did not leave that seat though. On that seat, I ate chicken, I ate fried rice, I drank wine. Hey guys, <laughs> what didn't I drink that day? I ate and ate and ate. You should have seen my aunt. She was boiling. There was fire on her head when the Reverend Father left. Hey, God. <laughs> hey, hey, she beat. Ah, she beat. Ah. And with uh, all the applications and up next is Tosi, she's a lawyer, she's a makeup influencer, she's a queen and she's very awesome and I'm gonna be passing the setting spray to her right now. Tosi, have it. Tommy K, wow! 
Thank you, girl. Hi, guys. My name is Tosin. Everybody calls me Revo. Welcome, welcome to my segment. Here to like show you guys how I do my lipstick and also apply my setting spray. Uh, first of all, I do my setting spray sometimes before my highlighter, sometimes afterwards. It's as the spirit leads. Okay, now to today's twist. Hold on a minute. So, <laughs> growing up in an African home, Nigerian specifically. So, guys, there's this thing eh, that my parents say, like, they're just always like, oh, you should be careful with guys. Don't have a male friend. Don't follow men. Oh, where are you going to? I mean, they, everybody knows that there is nothing like a date. Like, where you're like 18. You're telling now, them. this is the funny part now i'm a certain age of course i'm not gonna tell you my age <laughs> but now everybody's asking me where's your boyfriend come and show us the man i won't call call brother call <laughs> and in my head i'm like wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I mean those things were meant to protect us from you know unwanted pregnancy all the things that all the things that come with like having sex when you're at a very young age you know and before marriage but it's kind of funny because when exactly did that switch happen when did I stop being that person that you don't allow me to pick calls to now come in and say ah uh ah -uh, she brother lemba sorrow what's that which brother Wait, where, where am I? Alright guys, so I'm doing nude today. I'm going in with my brown pens. This is color 3 in Davis and I'm going to just line my lips. At the end of the day, eh, I'm just like, you guys, you don't understand. Like, I'm not a preacher of love. Everyone <laughs> can never be preaching love. I'm not a man of preacher of love. I'm a war. I'm a fight. I'm a Interposki. Anywhere for you people, cause you do not allow me to have a boyfriend. You do not allow me to date. So now they ask, they are, they, they, they are asking for a boyfriend. Eh? We will pick him. We will pick him at shop right. Eh? Or we will just go to church. We will wear clothes. The guy will be waiting there. I mean, that's like one of the major struggles of growing up in a Nigerian home. Anyways, uh, you guys, I've been doing like a lot of lip stuff recently. Um. So if you want to see how I apply my lipstick in depth, please check my YouTube channel for uh, a very good tutorial. Smack, smack, smack. All right, we're done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the original Batman. One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. Yeah. It's body, baby. Vicious, let's it's go. Vicious. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. Stand up. Hurricane, ooh, yeah. I want to meet you. Yeah. Hurricane, yeah. I want to meet you. Tell them I'm the realest. Then they feel me. Kill him on the rhythm, on the rhythm, then they feel me. I'm always all about my business. I got my business and we never ever finish. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video as much as we all loved creating this content yes i'm going to leave the link to the youtube channels of all the beauty artists you just saw yes it's going to be in the description box below so make sure you check out their channels and subscribe don't forget to subscribe because they all produce premium content that you always want to watch thank you all so much for watching this video see you in my next video guys bye